Welcome to this June 2020 new releases video and today obviously I have six picks as always that I've made for you because I think that they are books to watch. So first up we're gonna start with The Fever Fae and I'm not going to pronounce the author's name correctly I am sure. So uh, Meg Gziemi? Sorry. Uh, but anyway, the cover looks great. It looks like this is a fae who knows what she's talking about. It looks like she has some monsters chasing her and uh, it looks like she is not going to be the woman uh, caving in to a few men who wants to own her. Because that is, I think, the gist of the book. Because her parents mysteriously disappear and then it uh, appears to come three kings, one of summer, one of winter and one of night, uh, who wants her for some reason. Maybe her family is very known, I suppose, or she is very charming, uh, but uh, these three kings want her for different reasons. The first summer king wants her, well first he thinks that she is uh, sort of uh, an evil dark fae but then twists and then she will have to confirm who she is and show her worth which is sort of um, against what she thinks because she didn't even want him in the first place so now when she wants to he wants her to show her worth it is a little bit like what and um, so I don't think she will, will do it I'm not sure this summer king will have to be very convincing then the uh, winter king seems to be um, possessive and uh, controlling and I don't think this is a sort of girl that likes that either. So uh, then we have the uh, Night King and he seems to be just handsome and gorgeous but um, obviously toying with girls. So I'm not sure why these three men in this reverse harem uh, genre believe they have a claim on uh, the, the Fever Fae but they they obviously believe that they do somehow and I don't know why she would want any of those and I don't think she knows either but anyway she has to maybe pick one of them because she needs protection because when her parents were abducted there are now assassins monsters sent after her and she has six siblings that she needs to protect so now she needs to protect all of them and maybe she can't do that all on her own so uh, she seems to have a bit of a dilemma, uh, but good fun read. I don't know if it is a paranormal romance or if it's an urban fantasy, depending on how much they love um, or just, just clean uh, romantic reverse horror, perhaps. So this book comes out on the 6th of June, so we should be looking out for that. And next up we have Galatia, an alien warrior romance, uh, and this book a book is written by uh, Miranda Bridges and Kyra Snow and it is about a man who is cold as ice, I believe to the touch as well as his uh, stance and he has tattoo that glows up sort of a lot in the environment. Uh, this woman that we're talking about uh, as well as falling in love in this man seems to have a purpose to him, he needs her for something important, she is not easily persuaded uh, but uh, when he, when she touches him she gets hot even though he's very cold so I think that's uh, because of the romantic sparks and yeah I think this is gonna work out to be a very exciting uh, paranormal romance where you have the the, the woman being maybe a bit insecure or maybe she's feisty but she seems to not know you know what why she's drawn to this man and this man being someone who is not searching for love but you know this this it's that irresistible pull so I'm um, very much looking forward to that this book will be releasing on the 12th of June so uh, I would check that out and next up we have Royal Decoy by Heather Frost and this book will be releasing on the 18th of June and yeah this one to me 
sounds really interesting because uh, there is Claire who is a maid and she is told that she, or blackmailed that she needs to uh, be a princess's decoy to train for three months to become a double uh, because it has been arranged a marriage between an enemy prince and the enemy prince on the other hand is kind I think and he he does want to do right but uh, his father is using a woman that he loves as a prisoner for his son to do his bidding. So his, the prince, poor thing, sits in the dilemma of uh, complying with his father's wishes and blood will be spilt because the father is not really interested in peace with this other kingdom. Um, but just wants to sort of get into the alliance and then sort of um, break it or you know stab him in the back I think or, and if he resists you know to save uh, like a big war he the two people that he loves is going to die so he seems to be in a very tight spot there and I think there's gonna be a lot of romance I think there's gonna be a lot of heartache uh, one of those situations where they, they try to do what's right but by trying to do what's right they're actually harming the situation and making it worse and um, and then obviously following this poor Claire as a maid being forced in to do the royal duties. So I think that sounds quite interesting. Um, so check that out as well. 18th of June um, is that going to be released. And next up as well we have The Hidden Towers by James Wishes. And it will be releasing on the 19th of June. And this seems to be a very interesting book as well. And if you look at the cover it looks sort of dark and secretive and... Um, eyes or creatures or monsters sort of lurking in the dark. So this is about a young boy uh, called Otto Schrenk and he is the youngest son of a minor baron and, and a wizard and he's been taught all his life that he is you know lower than a human, uh, nothing worth in his kingdom. But then he stumbles across these dark towers uh, that is in the manners of a ancient um, uh, arcane lord who used to be immortal and sort of um, ruled the world a long time ago. So, and then his life changes. So I think that the, since this is a portal fantasy, I think he's going to be pulled into a portal and then a whole other world is going to open. So this sounds very interesting and um, with world building and different portals, and where you can set your own rules for a world and um, how all the magic goes into it can be very interesting if it's done right. So I am going to keep my fingers crossed that this book is actually going to turn out to be a really really good book. So check that one out as well. Then on the 23rd of June we also have Incursion with uh, Mitchell Hogan. So this is a necromancer's key book so it is things from old uh, you know lives past lives and also about like an inner possessive power so Talia is the necromancer queen who has been slain 17 years ago but because of this necromancer theme I think that maybe she can be uh, brought to life again uh, but I'm not quite sure and because it, it's about this Anska who is a boy who wants to join the knights to you know protect the world from the evil in the eternal vigilance knight order and and as he sort of climbs in the ranks because there's like trials and things that they need to do to to advance uh, he sort of notices another possessive power that he he sort of it, it's bestowed in him or, or he's sort of um possessed with and this uh, power starts growing so he starts to be more um, wary about what side he should choose to go the righteous protective path or to abuse these powers and you know feel almighty. But apparently there's a war coming and that brings everything to its uh, to decision time so he needs to know which side he is uh, battling for. So that sounds really interesting as well uh, so I would recommend you to check that out. Uh, and my last book for the June new releases 
uh, is uh, We Seek No King by T. Thorne Coyle and this one will be releasing on the 26th of June and uh, this seems to be inspired by both Norse uh, history and maybe a bit of Japanese uh, because in a world with uh, trolls, elves, uh, yakshiri and djinn uh, there is a single woman with only a sword trying to battle everything to save the world. Um, so Jenny is, uh, ha even though it appears that magic returns to the lands, uh, she does not have any magic, but she fights hard and she apparently drinks hard as well as sort of trying to do everything. I think this is a bit of inner peace going on as well here. That's, uh, you know, seeking the, the strength within um, to fight in battle. So a sort of mythological uh, post-apocalyptic epic fantasy uh, with a lot of honour and um, a lot of fighting, I suspect. Uh, I do like the sort of uh, stories as well and I can't wait to see uh, uh, the reviews on this book. So go and check it out if you haven't already. Okay, so now we're going to summarise the books that I picked for you. So on the 6th of June we had Fever Fay with Meg Xavier. Um, and then secondly we also had Glacier uh, with... Uh, Miranda Bridges and Kyra Snow that will be releasing on the 12th of June. We also then had Royal Decoy by Heather Frost that will be releasing on the 18th of June. Then we had The Hidden Towers by James Wisher that will be releasing on the 19th of June. And then we had Incursion by Michelle Hogan that will be releasing on the 23rd of June. And lastly, I had picked for you We Seek No King uh, by T. Thorn Coyle that will be releasing on the 26th of June. So these are my picks for you. I hope you will enjoy reading them and I hope that when you do, you would give me some comments in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so now. And as always, I wish you a very good day. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.